Putin's dream weapon Russia's sixth-generation MiG-41 fighter aircraft with speeds of Mach 4 to Mach 5. The MiG-41 next-generation fighter could be a bridge too far with a lack of money and resources to develop it fully. The priority is with the Army focusing more on building tanks and the Air Force fighting for more missile defenses. Let's take a look at what Russia has planned to get a better idea of what the next-generation fighter means for Moscow. The MiG-41 program will likely only be able to juggle technology demonstrators in the coming years. The specifications of the MiG-41 are very ambitious. Start with advertised Mach 4 to Mach 5 speeds. This will create a large amount of heat from air friction which will burn the stealth coating. Canopy design would be difficult in that environment. The plane has to launch hypersonic weapons like the Ginzal, which is possible. The Russians may be inclined to design the MiG-41 like the SR-72 Dark Star Son of Blackbird to fly safely at those mega speeds. Thus the MiG-41 would have a high ceiling, high enough to fire anti-satellite missiles. It can be powered by a ramjet or turboramjet engine which enables a plus Mach 4 speed similar to that which powers some hypersonic weapons. At that speed, it might be possible to shoot down enemy hypersonic missiles, which would be an interesting capability. But Mach 4 also requires large amounts of fuel which will make the aircraft heavier and less maneuverable. The heat from the high-speed flight would likely cause damage to the aircraft and that would require significant maintenance and increase the cost per hour of flight. Could the MiG-41 one day provide stealth, long endurance, and flying weapons at Mach 4? This is the biggest question for the MiG-41. Perhaps the engineers and designers use the MiG-31 airframe as a starting point for the design. This can speed up the timeline for development. The first flight in 2025 is at a later date.